Welcome back to Gomer Plays Mega Man 2, the redo, and, well, we just get right into it. Just thrown into the action, because, uh, yeah, you don't get a chance to sit there at the, uh, the uh, Robot Master select screen and just select it. They just throw you right into it after uh, eight Robot Masters. I think this is the only game in the main series that actually does this. Even the original Mega Man gave you the option of not going to Wily right away after you beat the eighth Robot Master. Um, so yeah, as I mentioned in the last video, these are going to be two per video, considering how short and how quickly I can get through these. Um, so yeah, as you can hear, this particular tune, this is one of my most favorite Mega Man tunes ever, and I'm, and I'm sure it finds its way on a lot of uh, favorites lists for Mega Man music aficionados. Um... And so much so that I've even used it as a theme song for my own video review series. After much deliberation, <laughs> I was like, you know what, yeah. Or at least a remix of this song. Ow! Motherfucker. I, I want the power up! There we go. Little for you. Big for you! Yay! Huh. So yeah, this... Again, these are kind of shortish. Ah, oh, really? Yeah, come on. Woo! Alrighty. You know, I never... I lost my train of thought there. Because of some stupid springy thing. And yes, I know it's a springy thing, because if you get hit, it boings up like the little springy thing. Boingy, boingy, boingy. Can I make it? Yes! Made it! Alrighty. And climb, and pink I am, climbing and I'm turning pink. I'm really pink, I'm running now, I don't know what to expect except I do. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that sounded a little bit better than the last time I tried to sing, I suppose. And, holy shit, big fucking dragon. That you cannot, that you can't damage yet. Oh, uh, this is one of the boss fights that I'm not the biggest fan of. Ow! Seriously? Wow! You just like throw a whole bunch out there. I was like, whoa! Yeah, that is the safest spot because the knockback is hell. So here we go again. Ah, uh, the best song in this game. And we have ways to replenish our supplies too, including these guys. They just keep spawning. You can metal blade them all to death with just one metal blade and... Ah, there we go. Um, what else do I need? Uh, quick boomerang. I told you no, Proto Man. You don't come in until the next game. Oi! Super persistent, too. Whee! Now, I've heard that those you can actually kind of jump over, but I'm not going to be testing that this round. Um, what I will do is replenish my jet sled. <laughs> oh, dear. Let's get there before going down, huh? Alright, do, 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 do. There we go. And, of course, if, if I really want to use up the Crash Bombers, I just Crash Bomb into there. Whee! Narrow hallway. Fucking moles. Yeah, just keep firing. Keep firing. You'll make your way through. If you're not worried about taking... Da if you're worried about taking damage, take it slow. If you're like me and you're not too worried about it, just barrel through. That was... I goddammit. 
Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you just saw I accidentally used an E-Tank at full power. Ow! Couldn't have waited until I got hit by that thing, could you? Oh, well. I should be able to grab up another E-Tank somewhere around here. So, yeah. Woo! That was close. Whee! Okay. Down we go. And don't hit the spikes! Oh, hey! Energy! All the way over there. I probably could. Let's see. Nope! I hit. I didn't even hit the start button like I was supposed to. But yes, despite what people may tell you, Bubble Lead is pretty much the strongest weapon to use against these guys. And this kind of gives you a taste for later in the game, too. In terms, in terms of uh, how you fight and how you battle with this thing. There we go. Whoa! Hi! Hello! There we go. I'm surprised that didn't take up the entire room. They could have, like, had two more units to use up, but... Oh, well. But that's okay, I suppose. <laughs> Oh, so... Hmm. So, yeah, that takes care of that end there. Um, that's the first two. Uh, it's not really a good stopping point without just abruptly ending. And I kind of don't want to do that. I, I feel like I should do my sign-off. So, uh, we'll take on this stage and the next one in uh, the next part. So uh, until then, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off.